All right, another uh, questions I've talked about these graphs and that you can look at the answer choices and evaluate the accuracy of the choices before you look at the passage. We might still be able to do that here, but because we're in the hard module, I would want to just get as much information as possible. So here's a case where you know I'm adjusting based on where I know I am in the test, right? So if you're in the easy module, it probably is just about the accuracy. If you're in the hard module, it's probably more complicated. And you would hopefully know that by question 12. You would have sensed I've got some hard passages, I've got some hard vocab, I'm in the hard module. So hopefully that just holds true. So let's take a look here. We gotta um, use the data to support the researcher's conclusion. So what is their conclusion? Considering a large sample of companies, these people assessed the number of managers and leaders from different departments who reported directly to a chief executive officer. According to the researchers, the findings suggest that across the years analyzed, there was a growing interest among CEOs in connecting with more departments in their companies. So Growing interest about connecting. Okay, so does that kind of match here? Um, department leaders, an average number of individuals reporting directly to CEOs, so it seems to be going up. So growing interest in connecting, maybe. Yeah, okay. Okay. The average number of managers and department leaders reporting directly to their CEO didn't fluctuate from the 1991 period to the 2001 period. Well, it did fluctuate. I mean, it went from two to three. It's not a huge fluctuation, right? Um, oh, no. Well, it includes department leaders. Yeah, this is just wrong. It did fluctuate. It, it, I mean, I, I wouldn't say fluctuate. Fluctuate means suggests like going up and down. It only went up, but it, it, there's a change regardless. It's not static. It's not the same. Uh, B, the average number of managers reporting directly to their CEO was the highest in the 1996 period. Uh, the average number of managers reporting... Mm, no, that's not true. It's, it's highest in 2001. So no, this is wrong. C, the average number of department leaders reporting directly to their CEO uh, was greater than the average number of managers reporting directly to their CEO in each of the three periods studied. So let me just make sure. Okay, department leaders is greater than managers. I mean, that's true. But I don't know why that supports the conclusion, right? The conclusion is that kind of like CEOs were interested in talking to everybody. So it's not like a, we're not trying to like compare and contrast here. We're just trying to look at the overall trend of everybody. I don't know, this this is true, right? But I don't, I don't think it matches with my my conclusion. Um, D, the average number of department leaders reporting directly to the CEO rose over the three periods. Yeah, a growing interest in connecting. This is just talking about things rising. So that seems right. Um, you could have eliminated A and B just based on the accuracy idea, um, but... I, I don't know. I just, when it's a harder question, I would rather get as much information as possible because um, I presumably once you're in the hard module, you've proven that your brain can hold on to more ideas. So uh, worth kind of incorporating them here. Um, but at the end of the day, it is really just about dumb summaries. The conclusion is that something went up. The answer choice is that these bars went up. So in the, at the end of the day, yeah, you keep it simple.